Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. In today's video, I have my husband Chris here with me and we are going to be um, doing an out of the bottle smell test on all of these amazing fragrances that Midwest Fragrance Company sent me. They reached out to me probably a little over a week ago. Um, and to be honest, I know in my last video where I did a candle science fragrance oil review, I went through and actually made the candles and did a burn test. We may be doing it with some of these that are, that are our favorite ones, but I didn't expect them to send so many. So we're just gonna go through and give our opinions and I decided to have him in the video just to make it a little different than just me, you know, doing my personal you know, first impressions on everything. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited to uh, maybe make some wax melts with it. Oh yeah, and yeah. And maybe uh, even combine some of them. Like, look at this. They sent so many, I'm so excited. Okay, um, so I don't, as you guys know, I don't like to look at a lot of the um, fragrances. I'd like to have it be a surprise. So let's just pull it out and. Midwest Fragrance Company oil care card. Fragrance oil care card, that's cool. I like how they say that the products are packaged by weight and not by volume. It really lets people know because sometimes you can be like, oh, it looks like this fragrance oil was shorted or not. What? You ready for the first you, one? Yeah. Here we go. Cedar, musk, and lavender. Cedar, musk, and lavender. Okay, I feel like we may actually, we may like this one, although I know you're not a fan of lavender. Okay, I'm putting on gloves because I just already spilled oil on my fingers. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So cedar, musk, and lavender. Mm. Sorry, I didn't wait for you to get your gloves on. What do you think? I, it's, I like it. Yeah, it's very I masculine. Like it. It's musky. Yeah. You don't yeah. get a lot of like a heavy floral lavender to it. I'm not a big lavender kind of guy. No. And uh, that is very nice. Yeah, this one's really nice. Um, it's um, definitely the, the cedar, the muskiness, the yeah. masculine. It smells like a cologne, basically. Yeah. Really nice cologne. Okay, here we go. Oceanside Air. I think it'll be obviously beachy. Yeah. Maybe sea salt, maybe. Um, oh, it smells like um, definitely I don't smell it. I'm gonna go get some coffee beans. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I can. Um, okay, go get coffee beans. I mean, beans. I was blind. Okay, go get it. <laughs> yeah, I really don't smell it. That's funny. I don't smell it. All right, here we go. Now I smell it. Now you smell it? Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, very beachy. I think it smells like a mixture of sea minerals and beech wood. But I get a. like a potpourriness to it or something. Like a. Huh, I don't know. Uh, there's a soapiness to it. Soapiness? Is that yeah. what I'm thinking? There's a soapiness to it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, vanilla bliss. Mm -hmm. mm. Coffee beans smell good. I should always do that in videos. Thank you. Oh, that one smells good. Wow. It smells like, um, do you smell it? I smell it. Now, this would be really good with coffee. Yes. This would be really good. Because now, of course, now we're mixing this smells, it. But... Wow, this smells so good. It's like a really good, like, vanilla extract. But, yeah. but like. It's not sour. But, like, in, it's like, not a. not sharp. No, not at all. It's a nice vanilla. I bet that's like it, even out of the bottle because sometimes vanillas out of the bottle can be really intense or, you know, all vanillas are, smell so different from each other. Um, but yeah, no, that one, that one's probably one of the best vanillas I've smelled out of the bottle before. That was surprisingly good for a vanilla. Yeah. Vanilla's hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Midwest Fragrance Company Sunset Citrus. I'll let you do the honors. Oh yeah. It smells it smells very orangey. 
tangerine. I love fruity scents, so any kind of tropical fruity scent is gonna smell good. I know you're gonna like that one. We tend to like a lot of the same fragrances. They did a good job packaging it with the peanuts. Mm -hmm. These are plastic bottles, they're not glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. It's just fruity, nice mm -hmm. tangerine orangey. Yeah, but also, I got a hit of like fruit roll up. Okay. I, I, it's very, well, that is fruity. It is. Uh, you can get a mixture of maybe strawberries and grapes and different different fruitiness, but I think fruit roll up. Fruit right, roll up. Right when I smelled it, it brought me back to that. Oh man, we're packed. <laughs> we got a lot. <laughs> whipped coconut and cake. Oh. Uh, whipped coconut cake. All right. This coffee beans are strong. Yeah. Put them over here. I don't know. You don't know what you smell? I don't know. It it, it doesn't smell it. It it doesn't have like a coconutty scent. It's like. Let me see the bottle. But I, I kind of like it. Think about think about the smell of the pan when you're done baking it. Say say you you have cake. Say mm -hmm. you remove the cake from the pan mm -hmm. and you have that residue of the batter, the crust of the cake, the it, bread. That's what I'm smelling. It's I'm smelling so more like bread. It's like so the bread of the cake. something like authentic. That's like. It's subtle. It, it's super subtle. Yeah, no, it's very subtle um, out of the bottle. But it, I, I like it, but I have if no. You're, if you're someone that doesn't like coconut, you're going to actually like this. It doesn't smell like coconut. Yeah, you don't get that coconut. Unless in a candle it smells like coconut. But out of the bottle, it just smells like a very mild, like you vanilla get more cake. cake. You get more cake. Yeah, but like uh, very, very like authentic cake smell. Not like a fake cake smell. Pink. Dragon fruit. Okay, more fruity. I like fruity. I like fruity. Here, you smell it first. I've been smelling it first. Whoa, a little bit of sourness to it, but but like a sweet sour. Oh. It's it's sharp. It's uh. It's sharp. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's man. sharp. It's like a. Oh, that bubble like a, gum. That that that. It's like a that tangy... juicy bubble gum that. I'm almost getting fruity like like strawberry, like tangy strawberry, but I think that's probably the dragon fruit. Yeah, very, very like sharp in your senses, um, but very fruity. I, I want to make a wax melt out of that. Yeah. That definitely. It's like a. And the, it's like a pink strawberry lemonade. Where is it? Where is that? The cake one, the vanilla bliss one. Uh, you know what? I think it was this. You never think of of uh, the what 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 did I say? Fruit by the foot. Yeah. Or the fruit, fruit roll, roll up. up. Yeah. Sunset citrus. Which I think is fruit roll up is fruit by the foot. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So. Man, that was a long time ago. They had citrus, those commercials. Citrus. Um, I th sunset wax. citrus. I, I'm gonna put these off to the side. I'm thinking. Uh, wax well, I, wanna, I wanna do candle for the vanilla bliss one. Okay. Here we go. Wild sage. Okay. This may be. Um, Earthy. Earthy and potentially florally. Oh. What is that scent? It is, it's earthy, but it smells like something. Like, I mean, I'm assuming it's sage. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah. Gives yeah. me a little bit of Christmas vibes, too. And I don't know if it's because of, like, a, maybe a little bit of pine in no, it. No, this is straight... Sage, eucalyptus, sage. It's got a little Christmasiness to it. No, nah, this has got Venice, Venice uh, Beach, the boardwalk. On Christmas. Any time of the year. <laughs> you go down to Venice Beach, you're going to smell that smell. It's not bad. I like it. It's just... Um, I like it. It's it's refreshing. It's very, um, very earthy and, and nice. I like that one. Um... Next one is spiced winter tea. 
don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't hate it. It's not my favorite. It's like that very, you know, chai kind of scent, tea. It's spicy. Yeah, spicy. Yeah. yeah. It's and, chai, and spicy. Yeah, typically I'm not a huge fan of. This is a good fall scent. Yeah. Yeah. This is a this is a cinnamon. This, this is a like reds uh, gum, or the, is that what it is? Big red. Big yeah. red gum. This is like the kind chai. of scent that would be really nice <clears throat> in a hot throw. So like when the candle's burning and just that warmth during fall and winter. I like it. That yeah. that would actually be interesting to mix with coffee. Yeah. I don't or know vanilla. Why I always want to mix with. I coffee. know you do. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this one is Rose Bouquet. Okay, it's gonna be your favorite. Mm. <laughs> nope. Let me smell. No, that's just me though. Oh, wow, that is that's, on point it's though. On. It's spot on. You you walk into the grocery store oh my the gosh. flower section and you get hit with that. With all the flowers, all the roses? Yeah. It's spot oh, on. Oh, yeah. No, it's spot on. Oh, so many people like roses and, and fresh yeah. rose scents. Mm -hmm. um, it's like the petal. Super authentic. It smells like the petal. I'm really impressed with how authentic so many of these smell. Even that coconut cake one. Like. All right. We got Fruit Loops here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. We know Fruit Loops. <laughs> oh, thanks. So. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Smells exactly, exactly what we know. Does it smell the same to you? It smells the exact same as um, the flaming candles for loops. You don't smell it? No. Or maybe it's Maybe you have too much oil and grease up your nose. <laughs> Can you not smell it? I, I think I'm I'm looking for that lemon. That I think you know what I mean? Like the lemon that's in Yeah. That. And now I'm smelling it. To me it smells almost identical. Actually smelling this out of the bottle, I smell tricks. Smell tricks. I smell tricks. Yeah, which is funny because a lot of people at markets um, will say Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, or tricks as as the cereals and stuff like that. To me, it smells the, pretty much almost the, the same. Bottle always smells a little different than the cap, and I get more um, more of it from the cap. Mm -hmm. The bottle was a little more overpowering. Of, yeah. Like it wasn't that crisp. Yeah. Well, that's why I always Same. smell the smell the caps. Okay, here we go. Sea salt and orchid. Okay, so this may be like candle science. Let's see. Yep. Exactly. Pretty. Yeah. Exactly like the candle science one. That's nice. Yeah. Sea salt and orchid is. See, I smell great. this, like. Right away. Right away that it Compared smells exactly to that, like it. Loops. Yeah. Unless I'm just nose blind to Fruit Loops because we we make it, we it so, so much. much. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, sea salt and orchid is. I mean, it makes me want to bring it back as a part of the nostalgia collection and just like an all all year round kind of scent. All right, we got honeydew, coconut cream. Honeydew, honeydew and, and coconut, coconut cream. cream. Uh, it smells like a soap. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not really a fan. It smells like a soap that you would get, like a hand soap. Well, I think I'm getting some of that coconut. I'm not a big fan of coconut. I don't mind coconut. I like this one. It's very summery, but like a hand soap. I always think that so many things smell like soap, but it's just probably because of the, the fragrance that's used in soap. All right, here we go. Lemon... Unhinged. Okay. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's sweet. 
<laughs> Smell it. <laughs> I, I like that. Sweet as in like, that's awesome or it's sweet? It's oh, sweet. Oh, wow. It's sweet. This is super potent. Wow, they really fill up these bottles. Wow. Okay, so that lemon unhinged mm -hmm. is uh, is nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, would you say... It's really nice. Would you say more fresh cut lemon or like a sweet lemon dessert? Fresh cut lemon. I was going to say fresh that too. Fresh cut lemon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I immediately look for that lemon heads smell. Yeah, but that's like um, sweet lemon. It, it is, but when you bite into a lemon head, you get that fresh lemon yeah it's different than the lemon what is it the limoncello one from it candle different. science it's it different. different that one's more like cakey lemon um I this like one that. put put that off to the side yeah this one's nice it's really nice all right here we go it's very strong out of the bottle too dark amber rosewood okay is it like a mystic visions or like a dragon's blood no no different mm-hmm -mm. Okay. Gosh, what is that? Say it's okay. There's something. It's not bad. It's no, not it's bad. good. I like it. Um, it is it's... not a pa strong patchouli. It's not um, no. a strong. Well, dark amber and rosewood. So it's masculine. It has some kind of um, c like clean scent to it about it. Something very clean about it. I like it. All right, other side of the spectrum, strawberry pound cake. Okay. A little different than rosewood. Sweet. Yeah, it's another strawberry. That's nice. Mmm. Yeah. That one's really nice. Yeah, I like it. It's almost like a, it's almost like a strawberries and cream. Like strawberry shortcake, strawberries and cream. That's good. Yeah, I like this one. Go ahead and. That. Mm. that one's really nice. Okay, espresso. Let's see. Just straight up espresso. I know, should I smell the coffee beans or should I not? Probably not. I'm getting vanilla. Like I'm getting like a... It's not like a bite of like coffee. Like if I think of like, a, like espresso, like... Coffee beans, like it's very. Not bitter. No, it's not like bitter. bitter. That's what I was it's pretty thinking. Good. Very good. It's it's a, it's sweet. Yeah. I you know I actually really like it. It's um, it doesn't seem like you would have to blend it with anything. It seems like it's already pre blended. Like because well, for a lot of coffee scents we blend a, it. I'll make a wax melt of it. Yeah. Um. Mm. And then we can do a burn test in a small candle. Yeah, right. I was expecting that to be more of like a bite, like a bitter scent. All right, agave nectar plus lime blossom. Okay. Oh, I like that one. It's very fresh, very summery. Yeah, I actually like this one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I Soapy. Smells like no. a body wash. Okay, yeah, like a it's... men's body wash. Yeah, yeah. But but not one thing jumps out at you. You don't get slapped with lime. You don't get slapped with agave. No, it, it smells more actually masculine. Yeah, like a fresh, it's nice. Like a fresh masculine um, body wash. Uh, honey spiced pear. You go for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, honey spiced pear. Okay, it that smells exactly like it. Mm. That smells exactly like it's very warm. Uh, definitely a fall scent. I like it because you get that pear. Yeah. And it's the almost fruitiness, like if but you... the spiciness. The, but on the back end of that smell. It's, it's very pear. Well, <laughs> even further than that, uh -huh. I, I get that sense of uh, when you slice into a pie, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it's a warm pie, like warm pear. Mm -hmm. I like that. Is there pear pie? 
I don't know, <laughs> but I'm, I get you, man, it's like, like an apple pie. Yeah. It does give me that, more apple. I bet warm, you there's apple cooked, in here. Like apple. Yeah. Um, I bet you there's apple in here. But it's pear. It's, but it's a little bit more. Um, it's nice. It, yeah. That would be a good fall scent. Yeah. Want me to put it off the side? All right. Cashmere sugar. Okay. Cashmere sugar. Oh. It's like nice. It's like very, it? yeah, it's very, uh, it's a little perfumey, but in like a, uh, like it smells like it could be some kind of perfume or body spray. I like it a lot. It smells like what you may smell if you go into like. Macy's. Yeah. Walking through Macy's yeah. to cut through I was going to say mall. like a department store. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Straight yeah. Up. Yeah, definitely. Man, there's, yeah. I always used to cut through Macy's or JCPenney, right? To like go to certain spots in the mall. Yeah, and then you'd smell areas, all like the little perfume area. You. But it's so like fresh, like almost, I don't know. I like that one. That one's nice. Okay, here we go. Cosmic Berry is the next one. Okay. Cosmic Berry. Yeah. So. Okay. You definitely smell. Berry. 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 Yeah, definitely berry. Yeah. Mmm. Very sweet. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, very, very sweet. Definitely do a wax mill on that one. Yeah. Very sweet. Berry, uh, like blueberry, blackberry, probably some strawberry. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Baja Cactus Blossom. Baja Cactus Blossom. So see how it has the word tight next to it? Yeah. So tight means that it's basically a dupe for, a dupe? um, yeah. So it, that might be like a Yankee Candle Bath and Body Works, something like that. Oh, so tight really? means that it's basically like a dupe of a very popular scent. Oh, okay. I feel like I've smelled this before, but I can't remember. Interesting. Mm -hmm. A dupe. You wouldn't say knockoff. You would say alternative. It, well, dupe is a nicer way of saying knockoff. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Recreation. Uh, interpretation. I don't know. <laughs> All those words. It's very nice. Let me see if I can try to get some kind of notes out of here, though. I I don't know. I'm I'm getting maybe a fresh, clean, earthy, with maybe a tad bit of sweetness to it. Floral. I don't know. It's nice. It's very fresh. Oh, look at this. Cactus water. Cactus water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang it. I don't really smell it. Oh. Oh, this smells like... It smells... Okay. It smelled a little bit like High Tide from Candle Science, and then it also kind of smelled like weed for a second. But I think that was just a weird scent that I got. Yeah, you get the, it's it's like that High Tide. So if you smelled High Tide from Candle Science before, it has that um, soapy, oceany kind mm. of bite bite to it. There's, there's an earthiness to it. Um... Yeah, to me it smells like high tide, and I know you don't know what high tide smells like. Mm -mm. Um, but it, what does it smell it, like to you? It does not smell like weed to me, though. No, that was a weird thing that I... Um, but it's got that earthiness to it, almost like uh, the roots um, or um, thistle and weeds or um, like branchy. Yeah, you know? very earthy. But it does have a little subtleness of sweetness. Earthy ocean. Here we go. Uh, French Bourbon Reserve. Okay. Oh. So it's probably going to be a little more... Um, is it what, alcohol? Well, bourbon is alcohol. Reserve sounds like alcohol, right? I don't know. I don't know. It smells good. <laughs> it smells good. I don't even know what kind of smell that is, but it smells good. I don't, 
don't know if I like it. No? No. Uh, well, I can't tell. Okay. I, okay. This is a okay. scent. Think of the smell of a Texas Roadhouse roll. What? Think of the roll. Think of the roll. And then the, you know, the butter they put on that, that butter they put on. The Think honey cinnamon butter, butter or whatever thing. it is. It, it smells warm and inviting. Okay. I see kind of Suc where you're like going. Sweet, succulent. There's something of, yeah. I, okay. Okay, I think, it definitely doesn't smell like a typical like like buttered rum bourbon yeah, like really heavy. Yeah, nothing alcohol about that. No, warm. I, I I definitely see the warmth to it. There's some kind of something I'm getting from it's it that I can't good. can't explain. Is this just called bum bum? Bum bum. <laughs> it's type. No. So I oh, wonder okay. What bum bum is trying to be like. All right, here we go. Okay. Go for it. Oh, I have no idea what. Huh. It you smell smells. Your bum bum. <laughs> it smells like. I it's... think you shook all the scent off. I don't smell it. it. I don't shake it off. It it smells like another like department <gasps> store like fragrance like perfumey. Okay, there's a little bit of Play-Doh to it. Oh, yeah. A little bit of Play-Doh to it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now I'm smelling Play-Doh. But, but like perfumey yeah, Play-Doh. Like, like. And that sounds terrible. Perfumey Play-Doh sounds terrible. But well, I don't I don't not it. like it. I don't like. I, I definitely don't mind it. That was very interesting. Never smelled that before. Mulberry Madness. Look how full that is. I know, is. I know. Holy. I know, they're all super, super full. Oh, okay, that's pretty nice. Is it is it fruity? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very like uh like cranberry. Okay. Yeah. Um gives me kind of more winter, fall, winter smells. Yeah, it's soft. Very berry, very it's cranberry. Yeah. Um, maybe it's supposed to be like an alcoholic type thing. Oh, like I don't some, know. Some kind of thing in maybe? Mulberry. mulberry. I don't know what a mulberry is. I don't is. know what a mulberry is either. Yeah. But I'm assuming it's but some it's kind of berry. It's yeah. not bad. It's not bad. You ready for this one? Yeah. Volcano. Oh. So I'm it gonna, says type. I'm going to see if you recognize what this one is. You smell it first because I already know what it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Smell familiar? Uh, I want to say either cherry or strawberry Kool-Aid. That's what I smell. I wonder if this is... I smell Kool-Aid. The, the red, the red Kool-Aid. Snack box. Ah, oh, sh <laughs> yeah. So okay. it's uh, like citrus agave from Candle Science, which is what we use for the snack box. But it is volcano type. High, high C gummies, but I, yeah. I get more of Kool-Aid. Okay. I get more of that. Yeah, when I first... As a little kid and you, you got the pink Kool-Aid mustache, that brings me back to that yeah. Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. mm. Always a good one. This one's very popular, by the way. So many people love volcano. All right. <gasps> Bread? Bread. Art artisan... Artisan. Art that's artisan? Yeah. Artisan bread. <laughs> bread? It's I wonder if it's smoky. Like out of the oven type. Whoa! Yeah, I smell it. God, you love bread too. What? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Don't think like It's like a French bread. Yeah, it I don't want to say roasted, but it smells like warm and... Oh my god, we got we have to make a candle out of this today. Okay, well... Oh my god, it smells like bread! It smells like bread. Holy crap! She's excited. 
Well, I was just thinking about how I, I always wanted to try to make a bread fragrance that smells like the Christmas bread yeah, that we always yeah. had growing up. It's it's good. It's pretty good. Wow. Okay, I'd have to know what it smells like in a candle, though. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Right. Smoked uh, cedar and, and oat. Whoa. Whoa. Not a fan of that. Whoa. It's like that. But it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> like it's like Ooh. it's okay. It's a oh, fireside, man. fireside from Candle Science. That like really it, smoky. So many people love the really smokiness. Th this smells like a older man's cologne to me. That what after a fire? No, it just smells like a... It smells like... It It smells um, very, very smoky. No, you're not wrong. You What's interpret that it. cologne? Like, when I was a little kid, I saw that there was a cologne bottle, and it had a guy on a horse, like Polo or something. And it was Marco green. Polo? No, it was green. It smells like... Cologne. I don't know. I'm done smelling that one, though. I'm not a fan of smokiness. Well, it, it's hard, because right away, you're like, whoa, right? But then you keep going but back, smelling it more, and I, I kept know. going back to it. I kept going back and, to it. And scents like it might that... might different the third time around. But scents like that are really good in uh, a candle with a hot throw. Oh, yeah. Because it, it, it brings out, like, just the warmth, Ooh. smokiness to it. But I'd probably blend that with something. It's just a little too smoky for me. All right. This one's called Endless Weekend. Okay, no clue what it's gonna smell like. Hopefully nothing alcoholic. I get a... a like a fresh, I get a, a fruity citrusiness to it. Really? Yeah. I'm getting like a fresh, earthy kind of-ness to it. Yeah, something fresh and clean, like a fresh linen, green leaves earthy okay maybe some brightness to it from maybe some like citrus or lemon um i get like a grape blueberry grape oh grapefruit maybe mm. it's just so hey, everyone's known knows is different i know pike's peak pike's peak what is that from pike's peak uh-huh well it's a it's a, oh, it's a place it's a place okay it's a mountain and actually, it's very famous. No, I know. And they do um, time trial there. Whoa. Motorsports. Whoa. What is that? I don't know. It's something sweet, but also... What is that? I kind of... I, whatever it is, I like it, but I don't know how to describe it. But I have, I, I can't even begin to describe any kind of notes that I'm picking up from it. I'm getting a blank. Yeah. I'm not. I'm assuming some kind of earthiness, but. I feel like I've smelt something like that before. But almost like a sweet earthiness. That's the only thing that I can possibly. I think there might be some pine in it. There might be some pine, maybe what is that? maybe some caramel in it. So you get a sweetness to it too. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, but I ha I can't wait to see the notes on that one, um, cause this one is uh, very interesting. Never smelled anything like that before. Here we go. I know that wasn't helpful at all. I just have no idea how to describe it. Sherlock study. Okay, so this one might be books. smoky. It's more or... like books. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. A typewriter. Oh. It smells like books. Yeah. That smells like books. <laughs> that smells like paper. Hold on. Wow, it's the hard cover. It it like went through and then like it unlocked something in my brain that was like this is like It's this. got some leather in it. Yeah. It's got leather. It must have leather wow. in it. Wow. That's good. Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah. I like that one. You don't it's, smell it's something like, like that comforting. very often. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that one That's that a one's trip. that one's really cool. 
That was literally me just joking and saying it was going to smell like books. It really... Yeah. Like a fresh, brand new book. Like, wow. Yeah. All right. Iced Vanilla Woods. I'll let you be the judge. All right. Looks like we got six more. more. Wow, still six more? Holy moly. Damn. They really threw the whole kitchen at mm -hmm. us. Huh. Sorry, it took me a second to, to realize what I was smelling, but it it didn't <clears throat> it didn't smell. Oh, is there a type on there? Yeah, type. So I'm not getting a lot of vanilla in here. I'm just getting a men's cologne. Is that kind of what you're getting, or are you getting vanilla? No, no vanilla. Well, maybe there is vanilla in it, but it's not showing itself yet. It smells like just like a men's. It smells like a dude. Yeah, I mean, I could see it being maybe a men's fragrance. Yeah. Um, but iced vanilla woods. I've never smelled whatever um, main scent that's supposed to be because it has the word type on it, so it's a, it's a dupe. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It is nice. Yeah. Uh, but I can't really put a thought on it of like what it reminds me of yeah i it, guess i have no memory it of just that. smells it smells like cologne oh sweater weather tight i like this one so i just know the song i don't know the fragrance i know the fragrance i don't know what song you're talking about unless i do and i huh this smells different than what I remember. So it's a very Christmassy scent. Uh, you get some apple, uh, maybe some pine. Um, it's it's oh, very that's good. yeah. I like the apple. It's very crisp. I would say apple and pine are probably the two most prominent I got, I ones that pine. I'm that I'm smelling. It. Oh no, you can put it. That's um, nice. Yeah, it's it's very uh, very bright and um, strong out of the bottle. Oh, cocoa butter cashmere. I'm going to like, like this. Yeah. I always like cocoa butter. Yeah. That one's different. Let me see. Oh, yeah, no, it's... It's more so, cashmere than cocoa butter. So this, it's, um, I've smelled this from, I think, the Flaming Candle and potentially somewhere else, but I like it. I really like cocoa butter cashmere. I... I wish there was a little more cocoa butter to it. Yeah. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe my nose is just backwards. <laughs> but No, you're fine. Um, I like it, but I really mm. like cocoa butter, and I don't get enough of it out of that. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Dark roast. So we probably oh, don't okay. even need to smell the beans. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know what? This has got sweetness to it. This has got car like a, a caramel maple. Yeah, this one's good. This is a good Let me, coffee. Here, what does it smell like compared to the espresso one? Okay, this one, way more um, vanilla yeah. than this one. Espresso's got more vanilla. The I would say the dark roast has more... Maple, which is funny because technically that one has more vanilla in it than this one does. Um, vanilla, yeah, vanilla. yeah. Well, I'm gonna make some uh, first wax off melts. with wax melts, we have and so then, many, and then I'll make some candles with them and we'll burn test them. Here's another one French, French roast. toast. Oh, I read that wrong. You read I French roast. My mind's in coffee mode right now, yeah, <laughs> French yeah, yeah, yeah. toast, French toast. You've been on a French toast kick I know. lately. <laughs> Does it smell like it to you? Yeah. Let me smell the cap. It's a little too... Um... Oh, man. Out the uh, right? bottle. Right? Out that's, the bottle. It's the sour. sour. It's the sour. Like... Oh. That's why with, like, for instance, pumpkin pecan waffles, that scent is just so sour to me. And that's all I smell. So... 
I don't smell French toast. No? No. I kind of did. I yeah. thought I did. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a I little got, mapley, cinnamony. I got like a cinnamon bread, like. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. All right, here, how about this? I won't tell you the name of this one. Okay. What, what, what do you think it is? Is it something that I would know by smelling it? I don't it? know. Hmm. Masculine, um, like very fresh and clean. So this one's called Fresh Mint and Eucalyptus. Okay, I would have never guessed that. But I no, guess I, I guess good, though. I guess smelling it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very fresh and clean. The, the cap. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, it's very fresh and clean. Maybe we should have done this whole thing without you seeing what it was called, and we'll test you. All right, here's another one. What do yeah. you think this one is? Ooh, I think you're gonna like this one just based off the name. Oh. Okay, um, strawberry lemonade? Something lemonade. Cherry lemonade twist. Ooh, it's like a cherry limeade. Ooh. I knew you'd like that one. That one's good. We'll make, we'll make Did you smell smells. it? Yeah. It's like a cherry limeade. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's good. I knew you'd like that. That one's really good. Any more? Wow. That is it. Okay. Dang. My goodness, that was fun. So obviously this video is going to be, you know, longer than the other videos. I'm not even going to try to cut it down to under 20 minutes. So if you've been here the whole time, I appreciate you staying till the end, watching us go through all of these. And, and it's all subjective. Everyone is a little different. You're, you're going to smell something and get a complete opposite reaction to what, what we smell and, um, yeah, like I, yeah. we may do. A, I mean, I we gotta make this bread one. Okay, we'll make it. Um, yeah. we may do a follow up video of of testing some of these. Obviously, there's so many of them, um, but maybe our favorites, like maybe the top ones that we really want to test, or he's gonna make wax melts out of. We'll probably do some, you yeah. know, limited edition we'll have some ones. Fun with them. Um, might combine a few. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see, see how it that. is. Um, but huge, massive thank you to Midwest Fragrance Company for sending all of these. This is amazing. <laughs> this is so much fun. And I hope that you had fun watching us go through and um, just, you know, first impressions out of the bottle. Um, but with that, I think... Sherlock study is a trip. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we got some surprises out of that. I yeah. didn't expect uh, some of these and um some i did uh some i didn't um it was a nice treat yeah um those last ones were really cool yeah very cool yeah really cool uh i'd say 95 percent of them in in my nose um i enjoyed <laughs> a few of them hit me a little differently um and i can just imagine say we're pouring like 50 candles and the room you know having the window the fans going the window open in the room just kind of drenched in that scent yeah you know like vinyasa flow the lavender yeah it's just too much yeah it's too much. but there wasn't a lot that you know i was like oh i don't like it like i would say the majority of these i either was like i don't know what i'm smelling or i'm like oh yeah i like that one um but so some of the scents creep up on you you'll sit there and you'll get your first hint of what it is and then the more you smell it it's almost like there's layers to it, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Yeah. Um, like you'll smell it the third time and it smells nothing like the first time. Yeah. Almost like the cinnamon coffee that you mm -hmm. made to where yeah. you smell it once and, and sometimes you, you smell one or the other. We're wearing these gloves and we're touching oh, yeah. all the, ga the caps. All right. So we're going to end today's video right here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, watching us. Uh, first impressions of this Midwest Fragrance Company. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching us go through and smell these, um, and I forgot how I end the video, uh, but we'll see. Because I'm here. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> so I think I had a dream last night that I had an ocular migraine.
and I think that it actually affected me because I woke up this morning and felt that like leftover, like back of the head. <laughs> that was my tummy. <laughs>